Welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. All right, guys, I am coming at you with a, another grocery haul. Take my glasses off. So this one was super interesting. So I definitely wanted to bring this to you guys and remind you, so if you have ever been part of like a food co-op or anything like that, that does kind of digital credits instead of refunds, even if it's been a while, go back and check. We used to do Bountiful Baskets all the time. Things got, you know, really busy with a newborn. Uh, so 2014 was probably the last time I used them, probably early 2014, maybe 2015. But you used to have to like take a basket and like where we had lived at the time, you like went into a building and you had to have like have means and just we had a newborn and a toddler and three other young kids and getting to and from the place and you know having to have a wagon it was a lot and we ended up switching and the one that we were using bountiful baskets honestly their stuff was getting kind of pricey and a local one had opened up in the area. I believe they were called Healthy Harvest. And it was, um, I was spending anywhere from 20 to $50 less on produce using them. And then we got into gardening and other stuff. But they are such a great resource for produce, especially with a large family. Well, you can do it all size, but like I was, you'll see. Anyway, I was going through emails and I'd had some bountiful baskets and I was like, oh, I haven't checked them out for a while. And I mean, a while. And I went on, you guys, and I had a 30, almost $36 credit. I don't know why. For the life of me, I can't remember what happened. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember, but we had a $36 credit. And so I was able to get a ton of produce. It's gonna last me a couple weeks at least, which is always nice with this crew. Guys, I spent 30 bucks. And even still, you'll see, um, you know, you have to, you know, I think Misfit Markets, you have to know, you're not always getting pretty produce. Everything's more expensive now. Probably back in the day, the credit probably would have covered this completely, but inflation, what do you do? Uh, but guys, I'm really happy. So let me show you what today's $30 in produce looks like. And I will put a link for Bountiful Baskets in the description box. You can see if they are in your area. Like I said, I've always been really happy with them. And now they have a, now they are a drive up service. So everything is packaged in these boxes and they load it in your car. So that I'm assuming is a COVID development, but much easier to access than it used to be, which is yay, right? The only thing I'm sad about is I thought the conventional box came with bread. They used to sell this bread and it was incredible bread, like a multi-grain bread. Maybe it's different times that it does that, but we didn't get bread this time, which is fine because you'll see part of this haul, we went to the bread store. This is a budget haul, by the way, and utilizing resources and things in your area. So you can make it work on a budget. Okay, like this video, let me show you what I got. Next up is their conventional basket, and we got lemons. They have an organic version too. I just went with the cheaper. Kiwis, which Emma is super excited for. A couple of golden apples, which the kids won't eat these, but Lance will, so it's fine. Yellow onions, which is always great. Guys, look at those carrots. Like, they are just freaking massive. It's amazing. Two ears of corn, which, you know what? That's fine. Uh, we'll cut them off the cob and put them in cornbread or in a salad or something. So we'll make them work. And then zucchini, which if you remember from last year, none of us are fans of zucchini, but we're always happy to get zucchini because we are big fans of zucchini bread. So 
easy peasy. And then we have some kale. Uh, I will put it in super pasta this week. And then two green peppers and a whole bunch of navel oranges. And potatoes. So potatoes, kale, I know I've got sausage in there. We'll make Zupa Toscano soup this week. This was the Mother's Day box. So in it was pineapple, tomatoes, raspberries, these cute little mandarins, red onions, mushrooms, and this little itty bitty head of lettuce. It's just a cute little box, just some fun stuff. You know, it, it's clearly meant to be like a brunchy type thing, uh, which is great. We will use all of it. And this was the Mexican box, which had always been one of my favorites. And I mean, you essentially get stuff to make Mexican food. Usually it's very salsa forward. We have cilantro, avocados. These are some really small, I believe these are poblanos, but either way, uh, we'll probably throw these on the grill one day, throw them with the corn, make some kind of salad or dip or something with them. They'll be yummy. More zucchini. It's just gonna go with the zucchini bread and pancakes. Limes. Like I said, salsa forward, so white onions. We've got a great variety of onions in these boxes. And then tons and tons and tons of tomatoes. So, and I've got a couple jalapenos in the fridge. So we'll for sure be making fresh salsa. Uh, there is a restaurant out here that makes a delicious salsa. We will try to create a copycat of that and have chips and salsa, and then we'll just make yummy food with the rest of it. It is tons of produce guys this is for sure gonna feed us for at least two weeks okay i checked my receipt that would have been 65 dollars total so you can see 30 dollars is a great deal but again i will link them down below you can see if they're in your area and if you feel like it's something you want to try and then next up guys listen if you are not utilizing bread stores in your area even if you have to drive for a little bit I don't even know. Like, guys, I'm telling you, especially with this inflation, one of the best, best budget resources in your area, especially for large families, is your local bread store. The kids want to do more homemade bread and stuff this summer, which of course I do too. But gosh, like just for quick grabs and stuff like that. I mean, like tonight we are having meatball subs and we are and we're having company and so like you'll see well we smushed a bag but it'll be fine but guys all right so look at this guys all of this this is a small haul you've seen my other bread store hauls this was 1250 it was like 1246 or something like that we had four free items because we spent 20 so we got three free items and then we liked or we follow them on Instagram, so we got a fourth item. And then it was a military appreciation day, so we got a percentage off. We couldn't believe it when it came back 12 bucks. Like, we, our minds were blown because we thought we were gonna spend around 20. So, no one is sad here, so let me show you what we got. We got potato bread. My kids have been loving potato bread lately. And we do meatloaf burgers and potato bread and potato buns. I mean, it's heaven. Y'all know my kids love bagels and English muffins and all that. In my last bread store haul, uh, one of my friends and colleagues saw the pizza bagels and suggested doing bagel pizzas. And I went immediately like two days later to make them and they had eaten them. So I got more to do bagel pizzas for lunches. We love the extra crispy English muffins and they only had one package. So I got the buttermilk next and then we got some blueberry bagels and everything bagels. Hoagie rolls. So those will go for sandwiches tonight. Guys, we also, look at those. We got brioche rolls, hoagie buns. So, uh, you know, my kids will freaking love these. So I got a, I mean, sometimes I overthink things. I want to do something special with these. And I don't know. 
they'll, I mean, honest to goodness, it's brioche. They'll probably just eat them plain. Be lucky to have them put turkey or cheese. But I'm gonna try to do something special with them. And then I was informed this week that we had no hot dog buns in our freezer. So when I was trying to get up to the $20 total, I grabbed hot dog buns. All of these groceries, it was $46. I mean, you can't beat that in this economy. And I easily got two weeks worth of food. Uh, could probably stretch it if I wanted to or needed to. So two of my favorite resources are local fruit and vegetable co-op and my local bread store. So this is the closest bread store near us. It's about a 20-ish minute drive, but yeah, just Google bread store near me and it will tell you this is Franz. I will go on their website and if they have a list of locations, I'll share it. But like I said, it's a quick Google and I'll link Bountiful Baskets. And you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Somewhat a little different for me, but trying to show you guys more of what I do and what resources in my community I utilize that allows me to feed a family this size. No, it's fine. It's my dog. She has no worries at all, including that I'm in the middle of talking to you. Okay. So as I was saying, I'm just showing the resources that I utilize to feed my family on a budget. I spend anywhere from 13 to 15-ish hundred dollars a month. That is for a family of seven with, I mean, older kids. I have two young adults, I have a teenager, and then I have two tweens who are gonna be teens before I know it. And they're already like well past, you know, toddler plates so you know and while yes we're on a budget we have resources i know other people on the internet like come in way lower for big families or for five of them or for six of them but i want to keep it real with you guys just like when our grocery budget changes i will tell you guys like we raised it or whatever the case is because I just think we need more authenticity and more truth in this medium. So yeah, I spend anywhere from 13 to $1,500 a month. I feed seven people or more. We have friends over quite a bit. The kids have sleepovers. So there is always plenty of food in this house. And I think I, I, think I do it pretty reasonably. Um, I definitely spend less than the USDA average for a family of four in most cases. So yeah. Also, I don't brand myself a frugal influencer. I love a good deal. I shop deals. I shop sales. This is my real life budget, guys. This isn't a fun challenge or something interesting I'm trying. This is our real life grocery budget and real life in this moment, not what I used to do, how I feed my family. I think, I think it's important. I think, you know, sometimes whether they intend it or not, it can come across as a game when people are doing challenges or frugal shopping. And so I just try to bring a little more of real life, normal life right now to the picture. So if you like that, and that's the kind of thing you're looking for. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And guys, come back for more pancakes and pandemonium. We'll see you soon. Bye.